Hey everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to create this popular amazing look. I also wanna show you how to cover properly the dark circles and blemishes without a hundred layers of foundation. So let's get on with the video. I'm gonna start with this primer from Lambo. It's gonna help to hydrate and moisturize the skin. I'm spreading it all over the face. And also I'm gonna use this primer from Yves Saint Laurent, Instant Made Pore Refiner. It's gonna uh, fill the pores and it's gonna look like one even surface. Also, I'm taking uh, a primer from Yves Saint Laurent, uh, the name is Blur Primer. Uh, with this primer, you will get that Photoshop effect on the camera. And I'm gonna spread it all over the face. Now I'm using foundation from Painty Beauty. Uh, I just add a dot on her skin to get the right shade. Uh, if it matches to her skin color, um, I just continue to spread it. I prefer to apply a bit uh, because in the real life a tons of layers look like a mask which is not gonna work for us. Um, I wanna get the maximum natural skin tone as I can. To cover the dark circles, I'm gonna use the color character from Sephora. If you have caramel skin tone, I recommend you to use a peach color. Using my fingers because I found this way works better for me. Um, but you can use a brush or a beauty blender, whatever is more comfortable for you. There is no rules. To highlight our T zone, I'm gonna take a full coverage concealer from Tarte. Uh, I think this is one of the best full coverage concealers I've ever used. And I apply a bit under eyes, uh, in the center of the nose, center of the forehead, top of the lips, and under. For blending, I use the best concealer brush from Russian makeup artist Serdar Kambar and I'm blending now this highlight zone. I always highlight the eyelids and this palette from Dior is gonna help me with that. I totally recommend to buy this palette to all makeup artists. It has all basic shades for any type of skin. I'm gonna do it very quickly. Our eyeshadow palette today is gonna be from Pat McGrath, Mothership 2. And I'm, I'm gonna work with this brownish shade right through the crease for definition. Always ask your model or client, open the eyes for this type of makeup. That's gonna help you to find the right place to define the eyes. Quiero amarte, tu 
Now I'm adding a bit smoke with a darker shade. Now I'm going to create a wing light with a pencil from Shiseido, that's the top of the eyeliners, guys, I'm telling you, this is the best of the best. Don't try to make it perfect because we're gonna smudge it anyway, I'm gonna create just a basic wing light on top of the eyelids. Now I'm taking a small brush and start smudging these lines. With this amazing pencil it's gonna take just a minute and I'm gonna do it really quickly. To define our eyes even more, I'm taking micro ink liner from Shiseido and smudge it again. Now I'm taking a small brush and start smudging this eyeliner. I want the liner really really gradually fade up and I'm going to mix black and brown shades from our palette and add to the corner of the eyes on top of the our smudged liner. Take your time, it will take about 5 minutes to make it properly. I really like to highlight and pop up the center of the eyelids so just use any finger and just repeat what I'm doing right now now we need to finish our eye look and I'm gonna use the same pencils and just connect it with our smudged eyeliners I'm doing exactly the same things I was doing with the upper eyeliner adding more contrast with the second pencil and blending up. And of course, I'm gonna glue the eyelashes from AliExpress to finish our eye look process. These days, everyone wants to have natural shape and color of the eyebrows. And I'm using a pencil from Benefit and I'm gonna just fill them out and add a bit of shape. Use the eyebrow brush to smudge our contour. After everything has dried, I'm gonna use a mineral powder from MAC. This is gonna help your T-zone from creasing. 
and your makeup is gonna last way longer. For contouring, I'm gonna go with Charlotte Tilbury Contour 1. You don't wanna go too close to the corner of the mouth. Trust me, it's gonna look really awful. Uh, and the contouring is gonna create a subtle shadow which you naturally already have. For highlight, I'm gonna use this amazing palette from Dior again and adding just a bit on the point on the face. I'm gonna use a whipped blush from Shiseido and give our skin fresh look, adding a little bit on cheeks between highlight zone and contouring zone. Now I'll move to the lips and I'm using this pencil from Maybelline to the contour but don't go too crazy and over please because uh, otherwise your lips will look really cheap which you don't want to. Today I feel like our model needs juicy lips and I'm gonna use this lip gloss from MAC. You can do even nude lips or made lips or red lips or just ask your model or clients what she prefer. I decided to add a bit more color and I'm taking a lipstick from Makeup Forever, adding to the corner of the lips and spreading out. Thank you for watching this video, don't forget to subscribe and follow my Instagram. I love you guys all and see you in next video.